What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I will display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment on the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Benefactor Sterling GT, one of my favorite sports classics vehicles in the game. So this car came out back in June of 2015 with the Ilgan Gains Part 1 update. This car has a price of $975,000, which is definitely a good amount of money. But honestly, not too bad when you consider what you're buying. So this car used to be the king around most sports classics racetracks due to its incredible handling and good acceleration out of the corners. Although it always did lack in terms of top speed, which still made the Z-Type competitive depending on how top speed intensive the track was, and even to this day, the Sterling GT is still in top 5 around most corner intensive tracks, which is very impressive. Now obviously the top sports classics vehicles now are way ahead of the Sterling GT, so there is definitely a substantial gap in between them, but you know it's still a very quick car in general. Now this car is very well known in GTA for its incredible exhaust note that has the cracks and pops when you let off the throttle, it just sounds amazing. I believe this was one of the first DLC vehicles to have that incredible exhaust note feature. And of course, we can't forget about the legendary Gullwing doors. Honestly, this car is just perfect in almost every way, except for the interior. So the real car has this beautiful 1950s handcrafted leather wrapped Mercedes interior absolutely gorgeous especially for a car in the 1950s and rockstar and their version of the car they just went ahead and pasted a generic muscle car interior they use for like 90 percent of the muscle cars in game i honestly wish they would have tried to maybe incorporate the roosevelt interior instead but they chose the muscle car generic interior a bit disappointing but we really can't expect much from car interiors in 2015. But anyways, the Sterling GT is primarily based on a combination of the 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Ullenhout Coupe and the regular 300 SL as well. It's a combination of both of them and it's an absolutely gorgeous masterpiece of automotive art. And a fun fact about the 300 SLR Coupe, there was only one ever made and it currently sits in the Mercedes Museum in Stuttgart. So pretty incredible how we kind of have that version in GTA Online. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of this old sports classics king. Alright, going time. <laughs> Alright, we got armor, brakes, bumpers. So for bumpers, you only have a rear bumper uh, upgrade, or as I like to call it, a downgrade, because... They delete the bumper and they give you a tow hook. And then if you go up front, you'll notice you also get a tow hook up front there as well. Um, kind of interesting, but that's what they chose to do. And I guess it kind of makes sense with this kind of race car-esque uh, original build. So I guess we'll do that. Might as well. Uh, engine, exhaust. So you have a stock exhaust there. You have it on both sides. And then you have titanium, which is pretty much the same chrome exhaust, but I guess smaller. The pipes are a little smaller and closer together. Okay. And then you have the last one, which is race exhaust, which this one is the titanium exhaust. Not a fan of that, if I'm being honest. I think it looks a little strange on this car, especially coming out the sides. I think the chrome suits it a bit more. Um, so we'll do the fake titanium exhaust, I guess. All right grill so we have the twin rally lamps then you have the quad rally lamps um you know i guess if you want to do like a rally build you can probably put some of these upgrades um i feel like they should have actually done grill upgrade instead of uh fog lights or rally lights it's just a little weird um and i'm pretty sure those don't work if i remember correctly so um all right stock grill hood so we have carbon so just a pretty much a color variation not really much there and for those of you who don't know the secondary color on this car is the hood um so i guess we'll do nothing there 
do 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 lights. I'm gonna keep the stock yellow lights on. I think that looks great. Uh, do 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 license plate. So I'm gonna throw my Ben's plate on there. There we go. And then we'll do the black background. Looking good. All right. So respray for this car. Um, you know th this car was only made. There was only one ever made. The uh, the SLR version, a uh, coupe. So I, I want to do something when it was only made in that silver color. So something a little more modern and different for GTA. We're going to go to the metals category. I'm going to throw the brushed aluminum, which is a really bright uh, silver. I'm more on the metals side. Um, I really like the way this looks. Uh, you can compare. We go back and forth between this and the uh, brushed aluminum. You can see the difference. It's a lot brighter. Looks so much better. So we're going to do that. Secondary, we're going to make that match. Do, do, do. There we go. Secondary. And as you can see again, if we go see, you can see that's the secondary color, just the hood. <laughs> Nothing changing in the interior. Literally just the hood. So, that's that. So we already have it on the brushed aluminum. Crumble in this car goes right there on the hood. Okay. Uh, roll cage. So you have roll cage upgrades. So you have this one here. You see how it looks from the outside. Back and forth there. I'm going first person. You can see the way it looks in here. Okay, then you have this one, which is pretty much the same roll cage, even though they call it rally cage. I mean, I don't see no change here. Now, there is a change on the outside, which is the uh, little tape on the headlights for rally racing. Um, I guess, you know, you can incorporate that with the, the fog lights and <laughs> the tape headlights if you want to do a rally build with a Mercedes 300 SL. I guess that's up to you. Um, Alright, no roll cage for me. I feel like that's a little too much for this car. A spoiler upgrade, so you know, you get excited to go to a spoiler upgrade and the only option you have is a spare wheel, yay. So, this, was, this was the thing that, very controversial in this car when it came out, people were very disappointed. So where they gave us a spoiler upgrade for the traction benefit um, for the handling, so it has even better handling on top of the already great handling it has, and the only option you had was a spare wheel. So then you can say, well, I'm not going to put that. Well, you don't get the traction benefit, so you're forced to put this. And it used to be the best car around most tracks of racing, so you were forced to have the spare wheel on the back. If not, you were at a major disadvantage, which was really unfortunate. I feel like they could have done something nice back here, maybe like a very thin uh, ducktail line right above the uh, Benefactor emblem, maybe. Something along those lines. They could have done something cool, but they did this instead. <laughs> giant obnoxious spare tire back here so obviously we're not going to put that uh suspension so th this one's pretty funny on this car um each option is like a quarter inch or maybe an eighth of an inch it's just <laughs> just barely <laughs> barely anything um so i mean we're definitely going to lower it i mean what is that an inch in total it's literally like a quarter inch at a time oh man okay competition suspension transmission turbo all right, so wheels, we're gonna go to the lowrider category. We're gonna go to chrome, I'm gonna keep it chrome. And then we're going to go to the big warm wheels. You can see they have the knockoff on them, like the uh, real uh, wheels from the real car. Pretty similar, even though the wired, I would say, is a little closer to the real car, but I personally like the way these look a little better. So we're gonna do that. Not a bad job. All right, do, do, do. All right, windows, so you have light smoke, uh, dark smoke, and then limo. So as we were talking about the interior earlier, I don't really like this interior that much. I do want to hide it a bit, but not too much to where it looks like this. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go for like the light smoke tints, I guess, just to hide it a little bit, but not, you know, over the top. Uh, normally, I wouldn't put tints on a car this old, but again, I really do not like that interior on this car. Um, and that is all the options there. So let's go ahead and take it for a drive. Again, can't really expect nothing crazy from 2015 vehicle. All right, rev it up a bit. You gotta hear a little bit of the crack right there, cap and pop. You hear it a lot more when you drive the car. First person. <laughs> Very cool. All right, floor it here. Rear wheel drive. Sounds so good. That's lots of throttle. Oh my god, yes. 
Oh man, I love this car. When this car came out, I literally drove it around for hours just listening to this exhaust note back in 2015. Because, at least to my knowledge, uh, in terms of DLC vehicles, there was really nothing that had that crack and pop effect. I, think, I believe this was the first car to have it. Um, just, oh my god, just sounds so good. And when you're racing around with it, I mean, it was just incredible to do sports classic races because this was the king for most tracks back then, most corner intensive tracks, that is. And just hearing all these cars race next to each other and just hearing everybody laugh a throttle before a corner. And you just, oh, you just get those cracks and pops. It was so, so good. I mean, this car just handles so, so well. Very easy to drive. And of course, if you have the annoying, ugly spare tire spoiler upgrade on the back, it handles even better, but um, this is plenty, you know, in terms of, like, traction. Um, you know, you're not going to really be racing with it anymore because it's not the king, so you don't really have to have that annoying tire on the back. I mean, it's pretty fast, you know, it moves for what it is. Oh, I love this car. <laughs> so, more than once, but I really do like it. Alright, let's pull over here, open all the doors and stuff. So nice. Look at how fat the front tires are, too. Such a good looking car. Alright, vehicle doors. Do all. First person. Let's see. Everything opens up. Nice. First person. And a nice 8 stack V8 there. <laughs> okay. The gold wing doors, of course. Probably the best part of the car, along with the exhaust note. Got the trunk opening as well. I believe the trunk does not open if you put that spur tire upgrade on the back, so keep that in mind. Very, very cool. Very cool vehicle. The best thing to do when you go to a car meet is just to open the, uh, the two doors. You just close that. Just like that. Just park it up just like that with the doors up. Looks so, so cool. I love the animation when your character gets in. He kind of grabs the door to close it. Do this. Well, let, me, let me close them first. There we go. And then he, he literally reaches for the door handle down there. I mean, it's just so cool. And then he grabs the latch to pull. Oh, it's just really nice how Rockstar did that. They definitely put in some effort and thought into it. Very well done. Well, let me know what you guys think of the Sterling GT. Uh, absolutely love this thing. One of my favorite sports classics vehicles in the game, except for the interior, but I can deal with it kind of. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys again. Let me know down below in the comments what car you want me to customize next from 2015 and older And as always the most liked vehicle suggestion comment for that video uh, Decides what the next one will be. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one